Hello, Jillian Batchelor here with The Bachelor Group in Las Vegas, Nevada. And almost on a daily basis, I get asked questions about the loan approval process and financing. And I thought to myself, where better to get those answers than a top loan officer themselves? So with me, I have Joshua Nieves with Residential Mortgage Services, top loan officer in Las Vegas for over 13 years. Josh, are you up for us asking you some questions regarding this process? Yes, I'd be happy to help. Great. So we're hearing now is the time to buy. Can you give us your opinion as to why? I think now is a great time to buy. You've got two things that would bring that. You've got low sales prices with the values being at an all-time low, and they are increasing. And then you've also got low interest rates. Interest rates recently hit an all-time low, and then lately they have been going up almost a half a point to three quarters of a point. So now wouldn't be a better time to buy. Great. As a buyer, can I expect to pay my own closing costs, or can I ask the seller to shelter these fees for me? This year, in 2013, the market's been very aggressive here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and the sellers just aren't willing to really give up much. They would like to get the highest price for their property, and they really aren't paying closing costs. So I would say that as a buyer, you, be, you would need to be prepared to pay your own closing costs or have a solution for that. We do have some down payment assistance programs here in the Valley that may assist with that. However, if you do not you take advantage of one of those, you would need to pay your own cost. Great. Great answer for that. Now, if I had had a foreclosure or a short sale, how soon after that foreclosure or a short sale can I rebuy a home? Let's start with short sale. That's a great question. Um, it really varies depending on uh, the type of product that you use for a loan. Um, if you're a veteran getting a VA loan, you could have a short sale and get a house as low as two years. Um, if you're doing a conventional loan and you have a short sale, you can get a house in as little as two years with 20% down. So the down payment's going to be a little bit heavier. Yeah. Uh, in order to do the minimum down of a 3.5% down payment on an FHA loan, you would be looking at a three-year holding period from the time of the closing of your short sale. Now, what about a foreclosure? Foreclosure. Foreclosure is going to bring you back to, again, a two-year holding period on the VA. You're going to have a seven-year holding period as a conventional loan, and then you're going to have a three-year holding period on the FHA loan as FHA looks at the short sale and the foreclosures as being similar or the same. Okay, well that's good to know. Now Josh, how about if I've had a bankruptcy? Uh, that's a really good question as well. Uh, for a bankruptcy, we're looking at uh, several different items. Uh, from the VA loan, you're looking at two years. On an FHA loan, you're looking at three years. And a conventional loan, you're going to be looking at four years. Now recent developments have come out that if you have a bankruptcy and you put your property in the bankruptcy, yet they haven't taken title, the bank, of that property, you actually are going to have to wait three years from the transfer of that title. So even though your bankruptcy was discharged three years ago or two years ago and they just took the property over on the title, you would have to wait three years from that date of that title change. And just to expand on that and be clear, it can take years for the actual title to transfer after a bankruptcy has been done. So people think from the day that the bankruptcy is filed or the day it's dismissed is actually when your clock starts ticking. When in essence, it depends on when that title transfer, as you said, has taken place, which can be years down the road. That is correct. I recently just came across a development where it was three years and seven months since the discharge of the bankruptcy, and uh, the bank had just taken the property back over from uh, the title of the original uh, borrower. So their clock starts ticking then at that three years and seven months. So now their process is actually going to be closer to seven years when they can rebuy because of the bankruptcy. Correct. Wow. Okay. What about any types of loans that are out there? I know people are a little confused at the type of financing that's available. Can you go over just briefly what the loan types are and maybe what the down payments are for those loans as well? Absolutely. I'd be happy to uh, share that with you. Um, we'll start with the conventional loan. Conventional loans uh, typically require a 20% down payment with no mortgage insurance. There are some loan products out there if you have a high enough credit score to be able to go with 5% down and you would have a monthly mortgage insurance. Um, the other loan out there is an FHA loan. That's a 3.5% down payment. Very popular in this market. Correct. And recently, as of April 1st of this year, 2013, they've gone lifetime mortgage insurance. So for the life of the loan, you're going to have a mortgage insurance payment every month that's going to be due on that. Um, one of the benefits of going that direction may be a lower down payment, lower FICO score, uh, and it allows you to still get into the house. Um, the last part is going to be a VA loan. Uh, that's the last loan product available. And that's a zero down payment eligible to veterans, uh, either active duty or discharged, and uh, that's going to be a zero down payment, no monthly mortgage insurance. Now I get asked this next question all of the time. Is it important for the buyer to have their loan approval completed before they go out shopping for a home? 
Yes, it's absolutely imperative that they should have the loan approval process completed and uh, be fully approved before shopping for a home. This way, they won't fall in love with a home that they may not qualify for. They also know when they do find that home and they do get an accepted offer, that they'll be able to close on the home and be able to have their dream come true. So I think it's absolutely the first process is getting pre-approved for a home loan. The second process is then shopping for the home. And as a realtor, I can actually state to that fact that it is very important to have your loan approval process done and completed before even writing an offer on a home. Now, Josh, can you give our buyers out there any tips that would really help them in such a competitive market like this to get a home? Number one, you definitely want to know who you have representing you. I would go with a top producing real estate agent in this town and a top producing loan officer in this town because they know the market, they have the education, and they also have the connections and the communication ability to be able to get you an accepted offer. Networking is very important to elaborate on that. It's extremely important in this market. Another tip that I would say is make sure you have your money in the bank and make sure that you're prepared to pay for your own closing costs. That's a great one. Making an aggressive offer in this market may be the difference of you getting your home or having to look for another one. Well, these are great tips. I'm very excited that I had a chance to speak with you today and exciting to get this information out to our clients that are out there as well. Now, last thing I just would like to close with is throughout this competitive market and having your loan approvals done up front, there are a lot of times when a borrower goes to offer on a home that they're going to ask for a second approval. Do you suggest the borrower get a second approval done by a secondary loan officer out there? Absolutely. It will not hurt. Having a second approval is like having a backup plan. At least you know you have that much more confidence in moving forward and it also provides a little bit of confidence for the seller knowing that they have somebody that they trust that can end up closing the transaction in case maybe the original lender cannot. That's very important because sellers do see a buyer that has approved twice as a stronger buyer than a buyer who has approved one time. Well, thank you so much for giving us your time today and allowing us to go over all of this process with you. I, again, I'm Jillian Batchelor with The Batchelor Group, and this is Joshua Nieves with Residential Mortgage Services. If you have any questions or there's anything we can help you with going through your loan approval process, please feel free to contact us, 702-595-8036, or you can visit me on the web at www.lasvegasonerealestate.com, and you can reach Joshua at 702-580-5069. Thank you so much, and we look forward to speaking with you.